Hello everyone, this is Dr. Mungli. So today's question is about a Bohr effect and Haldane effect. Question goes something like this. At slightly alkaline pH of pulmonary circulation and uh, partial pressure of oxygen between 90 to 100 millimeter of mercury, hemoglobin sets free the following number of protons for every two oxygen molecules binding to it. There are certain things that you need to be careful here. So the question is about, about the release of protons in the pulmonary circulation that is in the lungs and where you see the partial pressure of oxygen in the lungs is 90 to 100 millimeter of mercury and uh, question is about how many protons are released for every two molecules of oxygen binding to hemoglobin. Generally at partial pressure 90 to 100 millimeter of mercury, so ox hemoglobin will be fully saturated. It means all the four subunits in hemoglobin molecule will be loaded with oxygen. Now the question is specifically asking how many protons are released for every two molecules of oxygen binding to it. In order to answer this question, you really need to have a thorough understanding about Bohr effect and Haldane effect. First, let me explain Bohr effect, that is Bohr shift or Bohr effect, Bohr shift. And note that Bohr shift, it will be going on in the peripheral tissue. Bohr shift is all in peripheral tissue, peripheral tissue. In peripheral tissue, the partial pressure of oxygen is 20 to 40 millimeter of Hg. That will be the partial pressure of oxygen in the peripheral tissue. And also note that there will be increased pressure pressure of carbon dioxide in the peripheral tissue. So what this carbon dioxide does is, in the especially in the red blood cell, carbon dioxide, two carbon dioxide combine with two water molecule, 2H2O, to make 2H2CO3 and that is 2 carbonic acid. Now these two carbonic acid molecules they will undergo spontaneous and this basically carbon dioxide combining with water to make carbonic acid will be done by an enzyme called carbonic anhydrase. Now the carbonic acid it is dissociated into two protons plus two bicarbonate 2 HCO3 minus. This is what happens in the peripheral tissue. Let me repeat again. Peripheral tissue have got high concentration of carbon dioxide, increase in the partial pressure of carbon dioxide and that is because of increased activity of Krebs cycle going on in the peripheral tissue. That is TCA cycle which is increased in the peripheral tissue because they are metabolically active tissue. That carbon dioxide which is diffusing into the red blood cell combining with water to make carbonic acid and that is done by carbonic anhydrase enzyme. Now the carbonic acid is dissociated into two protons and two HCO3 minus and that is two bicarbonate. Bicarbonate that will move out of red blood cell into the blood, into the plasma. Bicarbonate move into the plasma whereas these two protons they are going to go and bind with the hemoglobin molecule two protons will bind to hemoglobin molecule and when the two protons will bind to hemoglobin molecule so hemoglobin is going to release four oxygen molecules and this is what happens in the peripheral tissue so for every two protons binding to hemoglobin molecule so hemoglobin is going to offload four oxygen molecules in the peripheral tissue now when the four mo molecules of oxygen are unloaded so hemoglobin is completely deoxygenated and this deoxygenated hemoglobin by binding with two protons here so that will be returning back to the lungs. So this kind of hemoglobin after releasing four oxygen molecules and binding with two protons it will return back to the lungs. Okay. So in the lungs let us see what happens in the lungs. So all this is what is called as Bohr shift. So note that Bohr shift is going on in the peripheral tissue. Okay. So in the peripheral tissue partial pressure of carbon dioxide is more and because this carbon dioxide is 
partial pressure is increased so it will be diffusing into the red blood cell and then it is combining with water to make carbonic acid carbon and that is done by carbonic anhydrase enzyme and carbonic acid is spontaneously dissociated into bicarbonate and two protons and these two protons will go and bind to histidine residues of hemoglobin molecule and because of this hemoglobin will be stabilized in T state and because of this four oxygen molecules will be released. So for every two protons binding there will be release of four oxygen molecules and that is called as Bohr shift. Now your hemoglobin which is deoxygenated bound with two, more two protons will be returned to the lungs and that is the pulmonary circulation. So whatever going on in the pulmonary circulation with the hemoglobin is called as Haldane effect. Haldane effect. So what is what happens in the Haldane effect? So Haldane effect is seen in lungs. So what is Haldane effect here? So in the lungs partial pressure of oxygen is 90 to 100 millimeter of Hg. That is a high partial pressure of oxygen and this partial pressure itself is sufficient to bind oxygen with the hemoglobin molecule. So mole oxygen will bind to hemoglobin molecule and that will stabilize R state of hemoglobin and because of this there will be conformational change in a hemoglobin molecule and that will break the polar bridges and it means it is going to release protons. So how many protons are released? So for every four molecules of oxygen binding to hemoglobin four molecules of oxygen binding to hemoglobin so two protons will be released so whatever the protons two protons that were bound to hemoglobin in the peripheral tissue after release of four oxygen molecules so when the hemoglobin returns to the lungs and in the lungs partial pressure of oxygen is 90 to 100 millimeter of mercury so at this high partial pressure four molecules of oxygen will bind back to the hemoglobin in the lungs and they are, it is going to kick out two protons from the hemoglobin molecule. So these two protons now they will combine with two bicarbonate molecules which is coming back from peripheral tissue to the pulmonary circulation. So in the blood so then it gets into the red blood cell two protons combine with two bicarbonate and that will become two carbonic acid two HCO3 minus and these two HCO3 minus will be released as two carbon dioxide and two water molecule and these two carbon monoxides will be exhaled for every four oxygen molecules that are binding to hemoglobin two protons are released for every four oxygen molecules two protons are released and two carbon dioxides are exhaled all this is called as Haldane effect now after explaining this if you come back to this question and search for an answer so for every two protons binding to means for every two protons released so I'm sorry so for every two oxygen molecules binding to hemoglobin how many protons are released now you know the number here for every four oxygen molecules binding to hemoglobin two protons are released so now the question is asking for every two oxygen molecules how many protons are released it means it is one proton that is released for every two molecules of oxygen because for every four molecules of oxygen binding to hemoglobin two protons are released now the question is asking for every two oxygen molecules how many protons are released so it is answer is it is one proton that is released for every two molecules of oxygen binding to it so basically with this question I try to explain you means I try to test whether you understood Bohr effect or Haldane effect and this has given me an opportunity to explain you what is Bohr shift or Bohr effect and what is Haldane effect. Note that Bohr shift or Bohr effect is going on in the peripheral tissue, Haldane effect is going on in the lungs. So in the Bohr effect or Bohr shift oxygen is released from hemoglobin protons will be binding to it whereas in Haldane effect oxygen will bind to hemoglobin protons will be releasing from the hemoglobin. That is all about, uh, about this question. I hope you understood Bohr shift and Haldane effect. Thanks for watching. I will come up with some other question some other time.
Till then, see you and goodbye. Thank you.